Welcome to today's edition of the OPEX Minute, presented by EMS Consulting Group. Today, we'll be talking about a very basic concept of lean known as the seven wastes. The seven wastes was a concept initially created by Taiichi Ono, a key figure at Toyota often credited with the development of the Toyota production system. The wastes Ono identified were overproduction, waiting, transportation, inappropriate processing, excess inventory or storage, unnecessary or excess motion, and defects. Let's talk briefly about these wastes and what each of them means. Let's begin with overproduction. Overproduction is producing more material or information than the next downstream customer requires. Ono considered overproduction to be the chief waste since it amplifies many of the other wastes. Now let's talk about waiting. Waiting does not add value to a process, yet many processes include waiting time. We could be waiting for information, waiting for material, for another team member, or a machine to complete a process. In any case, it is waste. Next, we have transportation. Moving material or information from one place to another. While some transportation may be unavoidable within a facility, transporting material from one place to another does not add value. Inappropriate processing is the next waste, and this one is within the process itself. Inappropriate processing is utilizing the wrong tool or system or process to do the job or having a workaround in place. A good example of this might be utilizing Microsoft Excel as a database. Another waste is excess inventory or storage. When we store information or material, it is waiting. It does not become more valuable to the customer as it sits there, but it does take up valuable space that could be used for more productive purposes. It also costs money to hold material. Next, we have the waste of motion. This is a simple people waste. Often we observe people walking around the office or factory looking for tools, materials, or information. Our layout might be such that a lot of motion is required, but motion adds no value. Finally, we have the waste of defects. Defective product results in scrap or rework. Missing or inaccurate information often results in major delays while waiting for corrections to be made. Later on, in a book called Lean Thinking, an eighth waste was identified, underutilizing employee creativity and input. This is really a separate category of waste, and we will talk about it more in the context of lean culture during a future OPEX Minute.